I love in Donegal, so every Saturday I would come up to Derry in the morning and um, I passed a little market that had just, it's really started about two years ago and it started in a very small way, just a few local food producers um, along the side of a road outside a restaurant. There's been a few markets set up in Derry City as well over the course of the last six months. So there's a definite, definite interest in buying local. I think people now realise that's important for our economy. Didn't see a local cheese being sold at, at, at that market. And what made me think about the fact there was no cheese. So I started to do a lot of internet research at that point, And I realised that there just wasn't really a culture of cheese making in Northern Ireland. After a while I realised um, there was a company who were just developing the idea. They were probably about a year ahead, you know, they had, but even though there is one cheesemaker now in Derry, I think there's potential for more. My plan is not to make cheese myself. I really want to help encourage the right people to do that. Um, when I, I ran a cheese, cheese making course, um, uh, Hans and Gabby Whelan from the Organic Centre in Ross Inver and Leitrim came to Halliwell and they took a two-day two uh, introduction to cheese making course. Um, we had about six participants came to the course and two of those were from dairy farm backgrounds and dairy farms have been really hard hit. Um, you know they're maybe only getting about 20 pence per litre for their milk now at the moment so it's really important for them to in order to sustain themselves, to look at ways to add, add value to their milk product. I felt it was a real business option for people who are already working in the dairy industry. Um, you know, a farmhouse cheese, something that's made on the farm, has a lot of value attached to it for customers as well. Completed the cheese making course and met with someone who is quite interested in, in looking at it at the possibility of it further. Um, I'm working with her to, you know, I've sort of done a feasibility study and I'm pulling together lots of market research information and I'm trying to collate a lot of information for her to save her time and give her the information she needs to have a really good idea of whether she wants to go forward with this or not. When you look at counties like Cork in Ireland who have something between 15 and 18 local cheeses being made there, you know there's huge potential for growth. Something that I think across Northern Ireland we have to look at as well because Northern Ireland has, has lagged behind a bit, you know, in terms of local food production and looking at, you know, the value of the the land that we have here and the value that we, the, the ability we have maybe to produce um, homegrown, you know, or homemade food as well. If your first port of call is your environmental health officer, I mean, it's, it's a food product, so it's really important to build a relationship with them. Um, Invest NI Innovation Vouchers are, help, are great help. They can allow you to get access to a college who will help you develop your project. Look at what's available to you that'll help you. Don't try to do it. On, don't try and do it on your own. Look, you know, look to invest in. I look to the organisations that are there to help you get started. <laughs>